Hi everyone, I'm Francesco Wine uh, Entertainment. I just bought a Tesla Model 3, should be here in December. And I want to tell you, you need to prepare yourself buying this car. You must have uh, at least 240 in your garage to charge this. This is the Model 3. And I read ordered. that manual. So this is, has uh, an all wheel drive, so that was an extra cost, <laughs> another $10,000. Plus, I have a long range, and I prefer the long range over the performance. And 3.10 to 60 is pretty darn fast compared to 2.7. Yeah, it's a little bit faster, but you're not going to notice the difference because you're not going to be racing the, the Model 3 every minute. But I tell you what, this is a great car. Uh, it's worth the money, and it's worth investing. And you don't lose your money too much on this. Uh, I've, after eight, five or six years, it's going to still be a worth a lot of money. So I ordered uh, the red outside, the red color, and, uh, black interior. And it comes with autopilot, the new 2021, chrome delete. I'm not really fond of all black. and uh, The wheels are just uh, too dark for me. I, I like a little chrome here and there. I mean, I make the chrome stand out. I'm kind of an old school and you'll see my 1970 Dodge Challenger, the 69 El Camino, in the next uh, video here coming up. And uh, but those are the cars I, you know, I've always loved. I love the chrome and the big wheels and the, the white letter and the fancy paint jobs and stuff like that. But this one could be, could be modified too, so you can do like a little bit of striping on there, on the hood. You can do a little striping to give it a racing look. You put a spoiler on the back to give it that. Uh, sporty look it is sporty uh the wheels uh aerial wheels i don't care for too much and so i like something that, that outshines the car so that makes it really stand out of course it's a big ticket item too if you stand out especially red all right so this is my tesla model 3 and we'll go on with uh, the 240 volts now the 240 we're adding is a number six wire so it can handle up to 48 amps uh, no problem so it'd be no problem charging and so don't go with your dryer or uh, they're, they're only 40 amps uh, capability so they're not big enough to handle a uh, full power of charging so make sure that you do a 240 with number six wires if you go bigger than that yeah okay uh, so we have a 50 amp breaker in the, the sub box and a 60 amp on, on the main box and it'll run two more other items that we're going to use too. Probably some outlets and stuff that we're uh, going to use because I ran out of room on the 200 amp panel. So here we go. Oh, here's uh, what I've done so far. And conditions are really poor here in Nevada. At 15 degree weather, the wires are frozen outside and you can't move them. That's the issue I'm running to. So the car should be here December 13th and up. And we'll see what happens. I'm Francesca Wine. Here's uh, my 240 in the garage. And to see some other cars. Hi everyone, this is Francesca again. And we're showing you with the 240, uh, this is the 50 amp breaker sub box. So I'm out of room in my 200 amp panel. So what we're going to do is put two of the 15 amp breakers in here plus the 50 amp breaker for the, for the Tesla. Now I'll go show you. Uh, we're still working on we can't work in this 15 degree weather it's really hard to work with this uh, conditions because wires freeze so we're gonna go over here we got some other cars in here that you might like too since I did order the Tesla model 3 this is my Challenger this is my 440 Dodge Challenger from 1970 bought that 1973 and then uh, this is the car I traded in, it's called a GLK Mercedes. And uh, so we're uh, trading that in. It's a little out, it's outdated. Nice car. It's not worth much after so many years. So this is our 240 outlet here. Hi again, I'm uh, Francesca Wine here. For the Tesla Model 3, and I tell you what, I had to print out the manual, and I print out this manual, and I tell you what, there's a lot to read in this book, a lot to learn, because it is a different car altogether. It's not like a car you learned as 
put it in drive and drive and put your seatbelt on and there's your buttons on there. Everything's on that one computer screen. You gotta learn how to use it and I'll study it. I'll probably when I get the car I'll be in that thing for hours trying to figure everything out. But it's basically I got in for a test drive and the demonstration was very easy. Got in, put my seatbelt on, gave me the card, the key, put it on the console, and uh, did my adjustments of the mirror right on the screen, pretty easy to operate, and the mirror uh, and seat adjustments as well. Got that all done, and then put the, put the brake on, put it in drive, and I drove. And I drove on the freeway. I started out with 25, went 95 in a few seconds. It is one big rush. Everybody who was in my car enjoyed it too. They said it felt like a roller coaster. Anyway, it's fast enough. It was not, it was a performance model I did, but uh, you ain't gonna see much difference in in the all-wheel drive long range. So you're gonna see that it is still pretty pretty powerful. But I want to save time. We don't have much superchargers out here. We only have one. It's 20 miles away, and nothing else and there's not much here in Nevada unless you belong to Tesla they have one but I can't get in there because I don't work for Tesla so anyway read your manual uh, prepare yourself of all the things you need to know and uh, when it comes to autopilot you better learn how to use that for sure and be sure to have your hands on the wheel when it asks you all to. Right. I still don't like the, the aerial wheels too much do the fact I like the 18 inches and the low profile tires and you don't want too low because I live in a rough country here and they will pop in fact here are bumped a lot of bumps in this road and a lot of old roads here a lot of dirt roads too and it's probably why I have an all-wheel drive and we have a lot of snow in this time of year but I decided to fix up the 18, the 18 inch aerial wheels and take off the covers and I went and bought the caps for it already with Tesla on it and also for the uh, that's on the on the wheels so wheels are covered that covers there so definitely i'm getting ready for the car i appreciate everybody and uh, when we get the car we'll do more videos on it and see what the 2021 offers and uh, see what the new update software and keep updating all the time and see what kind of mileage we get out of that uh, long range so I'll say goodbye for now. I'm Francesca for the Tesla Model 3 and, uh, and get preparing for the, for the best. I'm really getting ready for it. Thank you very much.